How's it going everyone? AFC Fitness here at Lydney Town in the lovely forests of Dean area. Just had a look around the bay where they do all the fishing. There's the pitch behind us. So Maldo's with me. We're going to go in the club bar a bit peckish. We're going to sit against Newcastle. Oh. Very nice. So there's the pin badge. Also got myself blackcurrant soda. Nice tub of Pringles. There's um, club, is it like Hutch she's saying that does like hot food, so I'll go there in a bit. Having fun? Yeah. 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 And they've got all the team's food over there. I think it was chili con carne they were having. Nice bit of art of the club's history as well. So Tom, what prompted you to choose Lydney? So you've been mean to do it for a while. I used to work here and I just felt that I can't believe I haven't done it. Um, it's been nice so far, I think. We've just been charged five quid for a pin badge, which I'm absolutely outraged by. I can't believe they would even have the audacity. <laughs> but, yeah, it's been nice so far. Apart that. We've had a nice stroll around Ligny Harbour, haven't we? Yeah, it's nice. I, I love the Forest of Dean. Used to come around here all the time as a kid. Doing our customary circuit. Oh, oh, no nice view of the hills up there as well. Fun. It's freezing cold, isn't it? Yeah, no, that's why we say we go back round. Yeah. There we go. Got a nice a golden vegetable soup. Can't go wrong with soup. Oh, a bit peckish. As much needed. Tom's gone for burger and chips. I got some chips too on the way. This is another good cup of soup. So we go. Got a nice amount of chips for one pound fifty. They're very nice. Tom's got his burger and chips. You like? Okay. How much do I owe you? Uh, Four fifty. I'll get the babies if you don't pay me. So, we've eaten, we're about to go to our seats, but before we do, let's find out a little bit about today's host, Lydney Town. Lydney Town were founded in 1911 and spent the next four decades playing in local leagues before being elected to Gloucestershire Northern Senior League. They were forced to fold in 1969 due to not having enough members on their committee, but they reformed two years later. They won the Gloucestershire Northern Senior League for the first time in 1980. They joined the Hellenic League, but a few years later returned to the Gloucestershire Northern Senior League. The 90s saw the club finally have a clubhouse in place, having had issues for many years, and in 2006 they returned to the Hellenic League after winning the Gloucestershire County League. They made it successive league titles by winning the Hellenic League Division 1 West. Sadly, they were demoted a year later due to not having their floodlights prepared in time and at home, following ground shares to Cinderford Town and Harrow Hill. Fortunately, they are now in the Hellenic Premier Division, as the club from the Forest of Dean look to the future. Overall, they have won one Hellenic League Division 1 West, one Gloucestershire County League and one Gloucestershire Northern Senior League. So those are our hosts, Lydney Town. Let's have a look inside their home, the Lydney Recreation Ground. We go, found our seats in one of the stands just by halfway line. Tom, you're coming out to kick off, you excited? <laughs> Feeling good? We've both been praying for the 5-4 to come at some point. Is today the day we see a 5-4? We're not too far from another ground. Over there is Lydney Rugby Club. We drove over here, Tom, didn't we? We saw a bunch of players getting off a coach. We thought it was one of the football teams. Then they had loads of rugby balls and pads. I was like, that's not football. <laughs> Thankfully, just drove a little further and came here. We'll do rugby ground hopping soon, won't we, Tom? He loves rugby, doesn't he? Six minutes in, and it's the wayside Royal Wooten Bassett who take the lead. Most of the action's been happening in front of us right there, <laughs> loads of throw ins. But they've broken forward, played it across the box, and tapped it in for 1 0. We're not seeing a 0 0, will there be more goals to come? Royal Wooten Bassett doubled their advantage. It looks like this could well be a whitewash against the team in black and white. Ball's played across the box again, and it's been headed in fumbled over the line. It's a big doubt as to whether Lydney could get anything out of this game now, but strange things have happened at sea. 
Just before half time and Lidmere back in the game, the forward rounded the keeper, the defender got to it but slid tackled it, bounced off the attacker. Game on against the run of play, 2-1. So half time and Royal Wooten Massett lead by two goals to one. They've been the dominant team, but Lydney had a bit of luck and they got themselves back in it. It's going to be an interesting second half with all to play for. Still anyone's game. Can Lydney come out better in the second half? We'll have to see. Half time, 2 1. First half time drink at the bar. Very cold outside. And the second half begins. Midway through the second half here, it remains 2 1. Um, Royal Wooten Bassett had a shot. I was almost certain it was over the line. The linesman hasn't given it. It remains 2-1. Their players are furious. But um, Lydney have come out a lot better this second half. They could maybe get a point, but I feel like they'll probably first 2-1. We'll have to see. Full time here, Royal Wooten Bassett do hold on for the three points. I think it's deserved. Lydney created chances, but it just wasn't going to go in for them. And Royal well, Wooten Bassett hold on to get the three points. It was a heated game, very physical, a bit of dodgy refereeing, but overall a fair result, I would say. So, that, this has been Lidley with, thank you, Tom Aldo. Let's rate the experience. Okay, so starting off with the welcome, I think there were like a few fans and members of staff we spoke to that were chatty. That was nice to be well received. It just wasn't quite a strong a welcome as like place I've been to recently, like Cribs and Pershaw. Like they seemed really like excited to get ground hoppers. We were made to like feel like we weren't welcome or anything. It just wasn't the same excitement to have ground hoppers. But like, yeah, there were still people we chatted to. It just wasn't the same level of engagement as Grounds have been to recently. So I'd probably give the welcome about a four. So as a food and drink, I'd probably give it a six out of ten. It did the job. They had a good selection of drinks in the club bar and the food we had, like a lot of it was basic, straightforward stuff, but it did the job and like the chips were quite nice. The only thing I would say is like I think they could have done really with a vegetarian an option for a burger because like tom was able to get a burger and chips but as a vegetarian i could only get chips and some soup which didn't quite fill me up as like having a burger and chips would do but in terms of everything else it was like a good enough selection apart from that in terms of atmosphere to be honest a lot of clubs at this level don't really have an atmosphere but i'm afraid it gets a low rating of a two because like there, there were like some fans cheering on the team but very few and there wasn't much noise when like any of the goals went in so yeah i'm afraid <laughs> atmosphere gets a low rating of a two in terms of stadium it was more like well-rounded than Pershaw, where it's like you know Pershaw, there was there was like literally one stand they at least had a couple of stands and like it felt more cut off from the outside world but like the stands we were in weren't very good like some of the chairs were falling apart so i think they could really do with a little bit of renovation i think it gets a point for club bar it's a really good club bar up to date they clearly take a lot of care of that i'll probably give the stadium a three value for money i'm not gonna lie five pounds of pin badge i don't approve of i'm not to pay that much at premier league clubs for a pin badge i think about three pounds 350 is the ideal ballpark so i'm afraid it does lose a couple of points to that but everything else is easy price a pound 50 for chips food and drink um at the club bar is nice and cheap if it wasn't for the club badge i get a really good rating for value for money but i'd probably give them, them a six for it. yeah so those are my thoughts on lydney i had to be blunt with you it's not a place i'd be rushing back to but this is just my experience i'd still encourage people to check it out it's nice to tick another ground off the list and you know I, I like going to Forest of Dean nice bit of scenery around the stadium feel free to check it out thank you for hosting me Lydney and all the best for the rest of the season I've been AFC Finners that was Lydney Town stick with us as we go ground to ground and we'll see you next time AFC Finners out <laughs>